Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's go to... Redcar! Redcar is a seaside town on the Yorkshire coast. It's in the county of North Yorkshire. The population of Redcar at the last census in 2011 was 37,073. The town originated as a fishing hamlet in the 14th century, training with larger adjacent hamlet of Colvin. In the Victorian era, it became a seaside holiday resort. Redcar Railway and the presently named Redcar Central Station were created to attract tourism and trade. With the discovery of iron ore in the mid-19th century, Redcar prospered as a seaside town, drawing tourists attracted by eight miles of sand stretching from South Gare to Saltburn by Sea. Plans for a pier were drawn up in the mid-1800s, but lay dormant. Whilst the pier was being built, it was destroyed in a storm when two sailing ships sailed through it. Redcar is also famous for the race course, which was created in 1875. The town's main employer in the post-war era was the Teesside Steelworks. Sadly, the industry declined and after being bought by Tata Steel in February 2011 for 320 million, it was mothballed. On the 18th of September 2015, production was paused and by the 12th of October 2015, uh, there was no realistic prospect of finding a buyer and the ovens would be extinguished, ending the steelworks in the area. Since then it has become more popular again as a holiday resort. That's all very well and good, but let's be honest, I'm here for some fun. There's this nice row of cottages which are a bit weird because they've all got windows that have been blocked out and it goes on all the way down. Now that's because of the window tax. Are we in some kind of time warp? I asked myself. Redco used to be a very proud fishing community. Fortunately, the sea decided to bugger off, so now they collect tractors instead. Redcar Citizens Club. You can only come here if you're a citizen. They've got a function room as well, but guess what? Time warp. Smokers welcome. Redcar is proud of its uh, Somalian pirate heritage. It's even got a statue to them. It's one of the best statues I've ever seen in my life. There's still a bus station here in Redcar. Sadly, the last bus left in 2017. At 2017, ironically. Now you have to walk. Next to the trashed telephone kiosk, there is a very handy sign here that tells you where things are. At least, I think it did once anyway. Maybe it tells you where the bus station is, which is there, <laughs> except it's not. Everybody likes to meet a celebrity every now and then, and you can hear, because from Emmerdale, we've got Eileen's. She does the taxis. You like walkways, you can do a lot worse than come here. If you like walkways with something going on in them, you probably can't. Education is very important, even here in Redcar. They've even got a library. But they spelt it wrong. A few people said I shouldn't come to Redcar. I'm like, why not? Well, it's a bit scary, they said. It's got a map, although it looks like the map's trying to escape, to be fair. They used to have a KFC here. Sadly, it's closed now. Couldn't compare, compete with Kentucky Fried Cluck. Same with B&M's. They've gone as well. That's unusual. They even have traditional butchers. Established 1784. DF Goodswin. You can tell it's traditional because it's blue and white and that's traditional colours of butchers. A bomb marsh and it's open. Time warp. The speeders of the essence here in red car. They like to uh, fix things quick. And they also like to tan quick as well. I was going to have some fish and chips from Aries, but sadly it's closed at the moment. I don't know about you, but everywhere I go I seem to see nationwide builder societies. If you're a fan of uh, phallic clock towers, you can do a lot worse than come to Redcar. Look at that erection, it's amazing. As well as the railway that goes across the road, which is cool, if you like railways going across the road, uh, you want more reasons to come here? Well, 
they've got a more recent supermarket as well. Which is fabulous. When you're a famous comedian these days, people don't get the jokes and they want to sue you. So what you need to do is get your own solicitors, like Lee Evans has done. If you know a celebrity, you need to buy him something. Come here to the celebrity gift shop company. Another celebrity from Red Car. When he's not electrifying orchestras, he runs this shop here. More windows blocked up to save on the window tax. Definitely a time warp. Not that I go to the doctors. I go see very often at all. But when I do, I rather hope they don't buy their equipment from GP's DIY. I hope they're fully trained and have the proper stuff. Redcar was the first town in the world to invent wind farms to try and grow wind. It doesn't work like that though. In fact, round here, it is far too cold for wind. They do have a fun fair in Redcar, but it's way too far away and I believe it's shut at the moment. It's not just airports that seem to be struggling with uh, luggage at the moment. That's the 2022 jolt. You won't get this if you're watching it in 2032. But it's hilarious now. Opposite these splendid buildings, which are bed and breakfast, is the Regency, which is a building built on the sand. It's Jacobean and is at least 25 years old. This is the world's worst water slide ever. It's got no water and all the pipes are flat and holes in them. Apart from that, it's brilliant. Playland amusements. It's not land, it's on land, it's a building, so it's play building amusements. Anyway, the good news is it's open as usual. I have no idea what usual is, but anyway, if you do, if you know, then it's open as usual. They don't lie about the weather. It is very windy today. They like to keep the history here as well. And there's some traditional Stone Age shelters here, which is lovely. If you're desperate for petrol, you don't have to worry because they have a petrol station here, E. Denny and Sons. It's open every third Wednesday of every fourth month. When the tide's out, which it isn't at the minute, uh, what they do is they land aeroplanes. It's a red car airport, and uh, there's the control tower for the aeroplanes to land on. It gets a good view of the sea. Brilliant location. If you can't be bothered going to the expense or the danger of buying a boat and taking it out to sea when the sea's that rough, well, why would you when you can just simply fish from the beach? or rather from the bunker. If you want to feel like you're on a ship, you can do by just standing underneath that. See if it works. I'm on a ship. I like this church a lot, mainly because it's named after my favourite rabbit, Bugs Bunny. Um, but what I also like about it is the fact that they've uh, taken all the Gravestones off, either that or people just don't die in red car, which is probably true. Uh, and in order to stop vandalism, stop people going on there, they've put these posts in. 
see there's one there there's two down the bottom there's another one over there as well and that's to stop people riding on the footpath so they just ride on the grass I do like churches and I do like a good block door and that one is a very good block door that's one of the better ones I've seen for a while I think Ern did it flares time warp so there you go then you want to go somewhere that makes you feel like you're in a time warp the loads of things you've not seen for years centuries in some cases you can do a lot worse than come to a red car yeah you probably can actually anyway that's it for this time don't forget to like subscribe and some share and I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye! Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's go to...